hey guys welcome back to my channel i am looking at tub number three it was reset this day and today's not the seventh but i want to look at it anyway i have some pumpkin trees growing see them <laughs> we're just gonna throw them back in there the winds are doing well you know, I'm in the mood for a giant experiment. You know me and experiments. I think it's time to do one with this one. <laughs> so, do you... Oh, Happy New Year, by the way. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you all had a great New Year. Um, 2023 is going to be great. Let's, um, let's hope for everyone's good health and just a nice, prosperous New Year. So you remember the watermelon I told you that's been sitting on my counter for two months, not rotting. I just thought that was a little bizarre. I'm going to cut a hole in it and we're going to put it here in the middle and we're going to see what's going to happen. Now, usually when I do big experiments like this, I kind of know how many worms I have in a tub. But in this one, I'm not sure because I've been harvesting them here and there. So... We're going to go in this blindfold. <laughs> but, you know, I check my bins every day. So if something happens, I can always, um, you know, make a quick decision. So I'm shouting out to Paul. He is a local guy that lives in my area. And look at them loving that banana. And he's been worm farming for 31 years. Yeah, we're neighbors. Hi, Paul. So let's see. All right. Okay, let me go get that um, that watermelon. Guys, look at it. Not rotted at all. Not a soft spot anywhere. Two months on my counter. Weird, right? So I want to poke a hole because I don't want to wait like a long time for this to break down. And we're going to see the worms. Hopefully, they'll start going in and out. What do I cut it with? I need something. All right. So, I got Mr. No Rotting Watermelon here. I found a pair of scissors. I'm just going to have to rinse them when I'm done. And I'm going to poke a hole in here. It's very juicy. Like, it wanted to rot, but it kind of didn't. That is weird. I wonder if it smells like anything. No, it smells like watermelon. That's, let me make a bigger hole. Oh, sorry, my thumbs still have trouble. For those of you that are new here, when COVID first came out, I got extremely sick to where I don't, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. And I was sick for a long time and my worm survived, believe it or not. I didn't see them for like two months, <laughs> but I have nerve damage here and here on my thumbs. Some days they work okay, some days they don't. I just, I can't grip certain things and I can't pick up things that are flat, like, like money. All right, so there's the hole, right? And I see that it's like very juicy inside and I don't smell anything bad. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to put it more towards down. And then I'm going to go like this. That way when we lift it up to see if they're in there, it, we could peek in the hole. It'll be a lot easier for us. The moisture level in this bin is really good. By the way, when I squeeze something like that, I don't squeeze it hard because I don't want to hurt them. Like, look at this little guy. Let me see if I could get him without dropping him. That is a little wisp, they call them. Little baby worms. They're so cute. I don't like hurting them. So I don't squeeze hard, but the moisture level is really good in here. These little trees, you know, they just go right back in there and creates more food. So I'm not going to wet this because this watermelon is extremely juicy. And I don't want to create more moisture than what this is already going to give me. And it is going to give me moisture. I know it. 
Um, but what, let me tell you, worms love watermelon. They love sugar. So they love the sweetness of it. Worms love, love sweet things like watermelon, sweet potato, things like that. They just love it. So I have another tub over there that I had put two sweet potatoes in. We're going to go look at it and I'm going to show you. So this will be a nice experiment to start the new year with, right? So if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Give me the thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I hope you learned something. Anytime you press that thumbs up, you know, YouTube watches that and they, um, they like it. I also have a super thanks button down there, which you can donate anything to me, whether it's a quarter or whatever amount you want. And um, any donations that go towards the wormery. Um, I buy supplies to feed them and bedding and all that stuff. So anyway, let's go check on these sweet potatoes. Okay, we are at tub number four. And these tubs, Hopefully I'll remember, I'll link it down below. I get them on Amazon. So let's see. Let's see what they're doing with the sweet potato, if it's even still in here. So this tub is full of red wigglers, a senior fatida, and there are no blue worms in here, which are called perionix something. All right. Let's see. My gosh, look at the amount of springtails. Oof. Look at that. Amazing, right? So that's part of the sweet potato. Let's dig in here and just see if we could see more. Every time I dig in my bins, I always find, oh my gosh, breeding pears. Look at that. See, they love sweet things. Aren't they beautiful? I just never get bored of looking at my worms, ever. They're really, really liking that sweet potato stuff. My gosh. Wow. Unbelievable. I was stopped the video because it looked weird to me. I'm like, what is why does it look like that? It was on a button named Cinematric. I don't I don't know. But anyway. Look at this. Look at the worms. Oh my gosh. Oof. They are really, really loving that sweet potato. Let's dig in here and see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I found the mother load. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. Gorgeous. The mother load the mother load of composting worms. Look at that. You want to compost your scraps? Red wigglers are the best option. They are the smallest. They are the tamest. And they have a ferocious appetite. Look at that little baby right there. So as far as composting, you know, all worms are great. They really are. They all do something different. But I will always say that the red wiggler, the Asenia fatida, is the champion they are but let me tell you i've had your my european night crawlers do an amazing job composting things they're just they could get a little cranky sometimes these guys are like more forgiving of some of the things i do to them like experiments and stuff and the african night crawlers well you know they eat a lot of carbon they love brown stuff boxes and paper and stuff like that but they can't tolerate cold so you have to be careful with that. This is, uh, you know, it's weird because they're breaking this sweet potato down, right? But I don't smell anything bad. Like, there's no rotten smell. Like you would expect from something that's, you know, well, rotting. No, they're doing great. The moisture in here is really good. The corners are still getting dry, but not that bad because I gave this a good dousing the other day. Oh, wow. Yesterday actually was um, January 1st, I think. Yeah. And I came and looked at them, but I really didn't do anything. I actually took 
some time to do computer work and and cook and stuff like that so what are you guys doing any new experiments on your end anything different tell me down below you know if you have any problems you know you can always message me i do my best to see and answer every message every once in a blue moon i don't know why a comment or question will just slip me on youtube they just i don't see it for some reason but i do go back and i try to look but luckily um we have a lot of experienced worm people that watch me and they um they also jump in and help which is amazing and i really and i really appreciate that because the goal of doing this is to get people to compost right look that's a i think it's an avocado seed yeah it is it's from one of those little ones i'm gonna just leave it there and see if it if it if it um sprouts oh, i had a cocoon i lost it so let me know what you guys are up to they're uh, these worms are doing well when they're done with that sweet potato i'm gonna harvest this one but i'm just giving them a chance to you know do their thing this is tub number five this one i started with just a little bit of worms like a handful and they are just reproducing like crazy look at them all I see a lot of um, youngsters in here too, so that's a good sign. That means they're doing what they're uh, what they're supposed to do in here. Um, yeah, I only started with a little hand handful, so you know, <laughs> you can buy your worms by the pound if you want. But even if you don't, your worms will reproduce in ideal conditions. You'll have cocoons within three weeks so they reproduce fast anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video give me that thumbs up like and subscribe and i will keep you updated on the watermelon and i will see you guys next time take care